Hello gamers and welcome back, I'm Rob, of course, our Warshack, if you want to call me by my in-game name, and we're continuing on with our Freeze Mage run, hopefully hitting that sweet rank 5 very, very soon. Um, remember the, the last match that we had played against the Warlock, he actually added us after, and I was like, oh god, we're about to see the, the fields and the, the rivers of salt, but actually he complimented us on our Freeze Mage victory over him, which was quite nice, so, um, yeah, it was cool. And then I was like, oh, you know, you're in a video, and I complimented you for playing something other than Zoo and Shaman. And uh, he's like, oh, cool. And then he gave him the channel, and maybe he'll watch the video. So, hey, dude, if you're still watching, <laughs> it was good playing against you. are going against the Shaman. We're going to basically put back everything. I think we need to put back everything and just look for Doomsayer, right? I like Loot Hoarders, um, but Doomsayer is just so very important. So very important. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for them hard mulligan for Doomsayer. Can we get it? No, we can't. Not even a. And now we didn't even replace the. Uh, oh, there she blows. There she blows. All right. So we're going against Shaman. We basically know what we can expect. We just have to hit the Alexstrasza early on. Yank, get the dank memes rolling. We're just gonna drop the Thalamos. I don't find this guy gonna be, and he's not gonna be used for burst in this match. We need him for cycle. We need to cycle hard, get Alex Straza, get the combo pieces, and get the ball rolling. As soon as that can happen, the sooner we can win. We got the Frostbolt and Isolance in our hand, which is really good. Tunnel Trug, Coin, Totem Golem. Why did he hold off? How did, did he know we were playing Freeze Mage? Wow, this is interesting. How did... Why? Because he, he obviously didn't draw two cards, which means... Uh, I don't know. We could have frost bolted the Totem Golem, but I feel like if he can't answer... Because he only has two mana, right? So he has to have Frostbolt or... Um, frostbolt or Flame Tongue. Those are the only two cards in his deck that allows him to kill this Doomsayer. Because he can't Feral Spirits, he can't Spirit Claws, he has to play Lightning Bolt or Flame Tongue. And he goes face! The game was very much so decided. He didn't even Hero Power. Why would you not Hero Power? Are you a goose? Are you a fucking goose? Why wouldn't you Hero Power? Make your thing from below better. Well, at these, wrong. Now you Hero Power. Now you're on the ball. Couldn't give him that sweet 1-1. One -one. <laughs> Ah oh, man, so do we Frostbolt ping the Totem Golem, or do we just basically ignore it? I think we're going to ignore it. Maybe he'll- nah, I think he'll smash our Acolyte. He looks like a guy who's ready to smash some Acolyte. I don't know how long we have on this recording, because I'm going to go get some of that sweet Dank Tank Sushi tonight with Father Jew. So, um... Around, I want to say six. So that gives us like 25 ish minutes to get done with this recording. So I don't know how many episodes we'll be able to play in there, but. So if we would have frost bolted this last turn, kept that alive, then he would have. The taunt totem would have died. We would have dropped this onto a pretty clean board. Now we're at a. Now we're at a bit of a situation. But I still think we drop Emperor here. You know, because we've got Malagos, we have double Frostbolt, and an Ice Lance in our hand. Like, that's crazy. That's a lot of damage. So we basically can just start going face. <laughs> Is what that means. We can just start going. We don't need Alexstrasza anymore. We can just go face with our Fireball. We just wait with the Frost Nova. This guy's so donezo. Well, we don't know that yet, right? He can still pull, you know. Shamans have this thing where they can just win no matter what situation that they're in. Feral Spirits don't stop me, bruh. Alright, so Engineer, Fireball, Ping. We're not scared of any super shenanigans yet. I mean, we could even go Frost Nova Doomsayer. I mean, we almost could just go Doomsayer, right? Well. We Fireball. That puts us. We want to use this Fireball. Unless we're planning to Doomsayer. 
and Frost Nova. But we're already two turns from Malagos, so I think we does it doesn't even matter. Ugh, this is why I play Malagos. This is why I play Malagos. So we just need nine mana. No, we need ten. So we're three turns off. We've got one freeze and one doomsayer. So I guess we could drop the doomsayer next turn. But I th because this is eight. Yeah, 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 yeah. We know he has a hex, which means we would just drop the doomsayer. His field doesn't do anything. Why would he do this? The max damage he's pushing a turn is seven, eight. Unless he's running Bloodlust in his deck. Oh my god, the Maligod. The Maligod damage. Yeah, we just fireball frostbolt, right? Because Malagos next turn, we need to cost one mana. This costs one mana. This costs zero mana. Yeah, it's just lethal next turn. Bum 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 ba dum bum. You can't even play a creature, bruh. You basically just end your turn. <laughs> oh, poor guy. He's like, what do I do in the Shaman Guidebook? There's nothing that says I can't go face. It's on every page. There's just a picture of a totem and it's smacking some guy. And it, it just, this isn't in the guidebook. This isn't in the guidebook. <laughs> <laughs> Flip to page five. Spirit Claws is good. Flip to page six. Tech in Bloodlust when you know that you're a cancer player. I am Malagos. Hey, baby. Win streak bonus. We can win two more games quickly. We'll be at rank six with two stars, meaning we're only two games away from rank five, which means we're only four games away from rank five. And that's four games. It's pretty far, guys. Pretty far. Any comments in the chat? Oh, shit. There's comments in the chat. All right. Hold on one second, guys. We need to get the hype rolling. We need to get this hype train rolling because there's some good stuff that we need to talk about right now. Right now. We received a very, very large donation. We're putting back everything from one of the top donators on this channel of all time. Per, uh, well, he's top donators, period, but of all time he is now. And um, Fuse Man with the 100, that's a 100, guys, $100 donation to the channel to help it out. Um, and uh, it's basically for the new set that comes out. Um, and he said, you know, get yourself some of these new cards, enjoy. And it, it's gonna be crazy, guys. So I, we need some hype in the fucking chat. We need to get we the, the, this chat needs to give Fuse Man some love, along with Ross H, because that guy's also a boss. And those guys are our top two donators for the channel. So Fuse Man is now the number one, followed by Ross H. And those guys are just those are pumping away, helping out this channel. It's it's crazy. It's just it's 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 good stuff. So thank you. Thank you, Fuseman. I know you're watching, and thank you. And thank you very much. I will enjoy these new cards. If I could hold them close, I would, but unfortunately, they're digital, so I have to just, like, picture them in my mind. But they're close there, too. All right, cycle, cycle, cycle away. A cycle away. Can we draw some more cycle? No. All right, so I guess we just ice block. This guy has done nothing yet. So, I, all right. So the worst thing I hate is the freeze mage versus freeze mage matchup because that's when you literally see me at the height of thinking, and th at that point it would almost become a no talking <laughs> video. It would it would just be me like briefly discussing what's going on, and as of now, I'm not really sure what's going on, but it's it's a little interesting. 
because there are freeze mages that run what this guy's running right now. If he if he goes like another turn without playing something that goes in a tempo mage deck, I'm turning on the afterburners here because we're on a win streak and um, we're gonna we gotta do big things. All right, playing tempo mage, we can relax. Woo! My brain was a turning. I was about to. We we're going to we we're going to luha mode. Whatever the fuck that means. <laughs> my fingers are shaking, my mind is a going, and boom, headshot, <laughs> boom, headshot. <laughs> oh, sorry, it's the good stuff. It's the good stuff. All right, so we blizzard. It's gonna kill most of his board. The flame wicker stays alive with two HP, and um, that's that. Or our second play is we doomsayer frost nova. The problem is if he fireballs, it it just dies. And we're in the same situation as we were last turn. We have to blizzard and it still doesn't kill the flame waker. So. I would much rather him. For, yeah. I'd much rather force. I mean we could just go ahead and ice lance this. We can do that next turn though with the blizzard if we have to. We're just going to assume he doesn't have fireball. And if he does have fire. now we're just going to assume he doesn't have fireball. Easy. Mage without fireball, poof, easy. GG's. Oh, you also could have Frostbolt. Frostbolt's three, ping is four, which means both Flame Waker shots would have to hit that. That's not gonna happen either. We need some fucking water. We need to douse this Fire Mage out with some water. Some invisible water. Ugh. Coin. It's gonna see how these land. One and one, 50-50, nothing too extraordinary there. There's the Firelands portal for five. It comes down to if it can dodge it, bob and weave. All right, never mind. It didn't bob and weave. And that's really bad for us. This is really bad. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, fuck. This thing is horrible. How do we deal with this? <laughs> we almost have to play this super defensively. Because we, we, we could Blizzard, Ice Lance the 2-7, ping it next turn. Or we drop the th Emperor. But the discounts don't really do anything. That's the thing. So the question is now, do we Ice Lance and ping it off next turn? If not, we have to deal with a 5-5. Five, five. I don't think we have an option. Unless we draw Flame Strike or another Blizzard. We have to. We literally have to. This sucks. Oh, this might be a loss here, guys. So if we drew Flame Strike, then that was a really bad decision we made. We're getting wrecked by Flame Wakers. We're getting absolutely destroyed. All right, Blood Mage. Well, we know we're pinging this. And now do we just play Blood Mage for cycle or do we play Emperor just to give him something other than face to attack? I think we I think we drop this. We should have um the turn where we could have Blizzard or played Doomsayer, we should have just Blizzard. We should have just played Blizzard, saved the Frost Nova, would have killed it. Um, and then that would have played around a couple things. There's another Firelands portal. We're going to take four more face. So we do have outs. If he doesn't, like, we can, when we Alex Straza his face here, we literally just have to draw into all of our burn. There, There's still outs. There's definitely still outs. So this goes down, and this goes down, because we have to use this for draw. So he's gonna pop the block, and then we basically have to draw into base like fireball, fireball, frostbolt, something like that. So it's not, it's not, you know, out of the ordinary. It's not, or we could just draw a flame now, even flame strike. Well, well, flame strike may be enough, because maybe he doesn't have the direct damage. Frost Nova buys a little bit of time. If he doesn't pop the block. Oh god, he's popping the block. 
because he has yo yeah blocks being popped massive poppage does he pop it at one though no uh yes he can pop it at one <laughs> oh, fuck well so the other block being popped which means we have to draw into arcane intellect blizzard does not do it so this gets dropped this gets dropped and it doesn't really matter what he can and can't attack we just have to do damage face there's no point to play the frost nova he's popping the block with his hero power no matter what so so frost bolts fireball does it and that wasn't a frost bolt what else does it that's it Got half of it right. So we were so close. We just needed a frostbolt. Because this would have frostbolt would have been seven, and this is six, and then ping would have been exactly fourteen. So we got like half of it. Or if we would have drew the other fireball. Double fireballs, twelve. Nope, that's one off as well. And there's no way to draw. And this blizzard doesn't freeze face. And this frost nova doesn't freeze face. <laughs> hmm. Yep, there's no way. There's just no way. Wind streak ruined by the tempo mage. He had a pretty slow start, but we what went wrong there? Do we not do we not have enough sight? What went wrong was the really bad card that got brought out by No, how much damage was that? If we wouldn't have ice lance that 5-1, if you wouldn't have got that, that would have been four damage. And then we had three that's seven, and then fireball which was 13 and then ping which is 14 so if we wouldn't ice lance that one card that popped out of his fire lance portal that was a 2-7 that was a huge deal we actually would have won that game that's sad it came down to fire lance portal bringing out a card that we needed to ice lance feels good man because that was the four damage we were missing that hurts me that hurts me good all right do we coin into the loot hoarder I mean, we have a bunch of two drops in our hand. Forces him to have to hero power it down instead of living roots if he had it. I didn't, I didn't check to see how many cards he kept, which was my bad because I was too busy being tilted over the last game. Nature will rise against you. Does that mean you don't have wild growth in your hand? <laughs> Can you inform me? Can you let me know? Can you give me that deep insight? Shut the fuck up, Druid. <laughs> If you have why ah, uh, you don't have the wild growth. Good on me. Good on me, big boy. Alright, we dropped the hoarder. I'm 0 for 4 for Druid today. So let's see if we can get an 0 for 5. I always go on win streaks. Like, we literally will win a bunch with Freeze Mage, like we did 3 0, and now we go 0 and 3, putting me right back to where I was. It's the craziest thing. <sighs> So next turn we drop Doomsayer, Novice Engineer, and then we coin Tharzan. Oh shit. This is could be really bad. Yeah, we lose. Oh, well, we don't lose yet. Maybe you can't deal with this! What the cow? Do we stand a chance? Don't fuck me! I mean, you already did, because you got your charge from your fucking barns. Nourish, yes. Yes. Now, I want you to pull the other Yasharge out of his deck to fuck him more. Fuck this guy. Kill him. Kill him. Pull the other Yasharge. Pull the other Yasharge. Oh, does he get the effect of Thars? And he doesn't. Yes. A fucking Lamau. All right, how many cards? We... Did we just... I don't know what we do here. That's four. That's... Yeah, that's fine. Then we're at nine. Then we drop this next turn. All right. We're back in business, boys. We haven't killed his Yusharge yet, but we're going to hope. Blood Mage, Swipe Face. Wow. It's an interesting use of Swipe. Do we just ping that? 
Nah, this, there's too much going on in our hand right now. Unfortunately, only a couple of it. Oh, we got two fireballs, so I guess that's a good amount of burn. And it's going to force him to use spells on this. Oh, gets the other swipe. <laughs> Who was I to think? Feral Rage for armor? Okay. And now you give me a target for Forgotten Torch, so much appreciated. Do we save Blood Mage? Nah. We don't save Blood Mage because of Mally God. <sighs> Rag. That's not good. Rag is like the worst card against our deck. How do we kill such a rat? We have to. F Ooh, Mally God. I'm not wasting double fireball against it. We can't afford to waste double fireball against it. Fuck. I mean, Blizzard fireball kills it. When Rag, like, we should we tech in BGH? Like, that's actually a card I'm thinking about teching in. When there's more games than not that they drop the Rag and we just can't, like, we just, like, they, they just, we were okay and then we're not okay. We could drop Mally God and hope that he doesn't have Mulch. What are the chances he has Mulch in his deck? I mean, all right, so it's Ice Barrier, play this, ping, or we just drop the Mally God. All right, boy, you mulch. You already used double swipe, so there's your burst. I know we don't have burst in our hand for the Mally God, but he doesn't know that. And you could, oh boy, Wrath to draw. Oh, he's going in. He's just going in with the Wrath. Does he have Living Roots too? Oh no, he can just attack it. Okay. That wasn't our win condition anyway, but he just did a lot to kill it. That's not a big deal. We drop Loot Hoarder or we are drop Doomsayer? <sighs> we gonna drop this because we have Doomsayer Frost Nova. And if we drop the Doomsayer, then he just goes to face and our Alkalite doesn't draw another card. The problem is he has, probably has another Feral Rage and he hasn't used Fandral yet and Fandral Raven Idol gives him more chances. He's already used Double Wrath, Double Swipe, which means when we drop Frost Nova Doom, Sari has no way to kill it. And the reason... Yeah, that's fine. Innervate Living Roots. But, uh, oh, Innervate Shapeshift. Attacks face? Oh, okay. You're running out of threats, dude. If he can't kill this Doomsayer, we may just be able to kill him because he has nothing to play. What? Do you, do you have mulch? What? How are you killing this Doomsayer? Don't have mulch. Living Roots. Moonfire. You're moonfiring? Living Roots. Hero power. Damn, you needed to draw the Azur Drake then. That's exact. Oh my god. So we needed to Ice Lance face in order to play around that? 
We wouldn't have done that. We definitely would have not have done that. All right, so now we need Alexstrasza. There's his Malagos. And there's not our Alexstrasza. We have one more chance to get Alexstrasza though. That's not Alexstrasza. Fuck, the last four cards in our deck. He's already used a lot of his stuff, so maybe he hasn't used his Moonfires yet. We have one Frostbolt in our hand. We need to start chunking out this. Get this armor down. So, double Moonfire doesn't do it. Uh, but double Moonfire Feral Rage, however... So you already used your double living roots, you already used your swipes. You're just putting us at one? Wild growthing for cycle. Hero powering, put us in at one. Can you take us down? Oh, he popped it. I don't know what he just drew, but he targeted our face. Oh my god, created by Raven Idol. Alright, so now. We have to put on the afterburners. <laughs> There's no more creatures left in this guy's deck. So, so we know we die to hero power no matter what. So which means we... No, we don't die to hero power. We can freeze it. We can't freeze the board though. Because I was going to say we could, if we would have drew a freeze. Do How many fro frost novas do we have? We already used two. And then we already used how many blizzards? That was one blizzard. Have we used two blizzards? I don't remember. I think we've used two. Because I was going to say, we could go ahead. No, no, we couldn't do all that anyway. So we know we have to do this. And then we just throw all of our damage face. There's, yeah, there's no other way. That's what happens when Alex Strauss is in the bottom three cards of your deck. We can't do 21 damage in one turn. There's no way. Unless we get another freeze. Oh, he picked that quick. Feral Rage. Moonfire, good job. Yep, there's no way. He couldn't have gotten. He couldn't have gotten an armor. I don't think it would have mattered anyway. But that's how it goes. We're 0 and 5 against the druids. So when we played that one doomsayer, it needed to go off. That was one thing that needed to happen. He couldn't have gotten a raven eye. Like I don't know. I felt like a lot went wrong that game that could have not gone wrong. Right? Like his barns into the first few shards was bad. Another fucking druid. <laughs> Fuck, I don't want to go again. Like, we just play Zoo and we literally fucking annihilate Druid. Like, fucking annihilate Druid with Zoo. But we don't play Zoo. Well, we play the normal Zoo with the Sea Giants sometimes. Played it twice. Or for two videos. You know, I might just play Zoo to get to rank 5 quickly. Because obviously Freeze Mage is not doing it. Going fucking 50% win ratio over two videos is not acceptable. We need, like, at least 65 or 70. If we play a deck that would, no, a little bit better than Freeze Mage right now. Freeze Mage is a horrible deck to play right now in the meta. <laughs> horrible. Freeze Mage is great in the meta when everybody's playing like Jade Idol Druid. <laughs> Not so much when they're playing Double Feral Rage, Barnes into Yassard's Druid. That's bad. That is bad. Best draw next turn is Arcane Intellects. Ice bootier. <clears throat> like druids are just double feral rage. Six six armor or six mana and gaining eighteen or, or gain sixteen armor. Feels good. I don't know what we do here. I think we just ping this off, right? Do you ping this off, Doomsayer? I don't think so. Like, 
We're not setting up. If we had Thars in our hand, then that's worthy. But right now, it's just like... Mm -hmm. I don't really like it. It's a pretty weak turn. Good to like a loot hoarder or something would have been really nice there. So next turn we forgot and torched that down, right? Depending on what he plays. Uh oh, gotta fireball that. New target. Bing 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 bing. Pew. We know that can't live, because now he's going to Nourish. Oh, no Nourish. Alright, so if he Nourishes next turn, and it's one of his left cards, he was just obviously playing on Curve. The sooner we can Frost Nova Doomsayer, the less chance he has Swipe and Wrath. He already used one Wrath, so... You'd have to have the other one in his deck, which would be in the first f 10 cards of it. He'd need both Wraths in one swipe. So right now, Nourish is a possibility that's good for him. I mean, Feral Rage Wrath is an option too. Disciple of Cthune. So obviously he plans on killing Doomsayer, so it's dead. Living Roots for another two. And then wrathing it. So now both wraths. That doesn't feel good. Still doing all right though, right? He only has five, seven on board. We're still at 29 life. We've kept up with an okay amount of cycle. Um, we still have, we have the ice lance double frost bolt. So if we can draw into the other ice lance, and Emperor, Malagos is going to go off. There's the Nourish. I didn't see if it came from the left or from the right. But that's obviously not good for us. Because he was running, like, what, four or five cards in his hand? Which means his, like, resources were lacking. Like, almost coining Malagos right now seems like an okay play. Because what is he going to do? Like, unless he runs Mulch, he can't kill it. And then we win the following turn. I'm going for it. Go big or go home. Go big or go home. Can you kill the Mali God? You can't play your Cthune yet. You probably don't run Mulch. All you can do is Fail Rage for armor. You need seven damage. I guess he needs seven damage, right? He needs seven from, so he needs like a swipe, a Living Roots, and then another Hero Power Face. Innervate, Cthune. Fuck. All right, well, at least allow my Mali God to live. Don't take it down to five. Thank you. Unless he has another Innervate. Does not have the other Innervate. All right, so let's calculate the damage. So this is going to do nine, nine, which is 18. And this is going to do 10, which is 28 damage. Is not enough. So we're going to play the cheapest cycle card in our hand and see what we get. Flame Strike is going to deal 9 damage to everything. And then we would attack Malagos into his Cthune. Oh, this is bad. Let's redo this. Now we still don't... No, we have enough because this would be 5 and that's 7. So let's recalculate. So this is 9, 9. That's 18. And 18 plus 10 is 28. So we're 2 damage off because we can't attack directly because his 5, 3 is in the way. Leaving us 13, 13 up. Well, we've dealt with Cthune. <laughs> oh man, we needed any any other damaging spell would have had it for us, but we could we didn't get it, boys. We didn't get it. It's all right though. We were lucky that his Cthune didn't kill our. Actually, no, we weren't that lucky. His Cthune was a thirteen, and our Mali God had no, no, because then it would. No, it was about even. I'm not sure if we kill this or not. We need yes. We need the uh, the Alex Struzas, wherever that may be. If we had ice block down, then I would have gone twenty eight face, but we didn't either. 
That was also something we did not have. Uh, playing it for cycle, guys. Playing it for cycle. We need Alex Struzes. All right, we needed to draw Emperor before dropping the. We needed to play Emperor before dropping the Mali God. No, that, no, no. That number. We needed only one damage. We need. We needed some damage. It's good that he's not valuing his armor highly. Because normally you'd want to save the armor, just try to get as much armor as you can with Druid, but he's just ignoring all of that. Literally ignoring it. Drop another creature, please. Alright. Charge? Good. No charge. Now we Blizzard Doomsayer, and hopefully it goes off. And we're even going to drop the, uh, the Hoarder here. He has no armor to ping off, and Alex Straz is just going to ignore this anyway. So, he needs swipe. And, I mean, double swipe, right? Double swipe does it. Swipe and Moonfire does it. Because, uh, the Drake. This can't be good. Oh, Disciple. Oh, my God. Why every time do I just feel like this is so unlucky? Like, it never can live. It never lives. The never-living Doomsayer. It's just, like, bad things all the time. So we just need to draw Alex. We literally just need Alex. Again, we're getting to the bottom... <laughs> the bottom remnants of the deck. Um... Do we just Frost Nova, or do we just Blizzard? I don't think it matters, right? Blizzard allows him to make room for other things, for two creatures. Well, creatures would be annoying. Oh, anytime, Alex Struzas. I just need you in my life. It's almost too late to have you in my life. We have either we have two turns to draw you, because we have one more freeze available to us. All right. Well, let's try again. We are now getting to the last five cards in the deck, where Alex Draza still has not appeared herself to us. We need to draw her this turn or he pops block and we lose, because we need to initiate the blockage pop, non-blockage poppage prior to, you know, bad things happening. So there is a 20% chance, plus all the other turns that we were trying to draw her. <laughs> Oh my god. Like, she, like, what? <laughs> Alright, so how do we not lose? Do we Alkalite a Pain Ping? No. The Alex Draza doesn't matter anymore because he pushed Lee, so we need a freeze. We already used Double Blizzard, and I'm pretty sure we already used. Oh, do we use one Frost Nova? I don't know how many frost novas we've used, but we can't do 30 damage, so I guess we just we have to dig. It's our only option. There's Alex Straza. We were one turn off. We were one card off from winning. It's a bad feeling, guys. It's a really bad feeling. Any of the 25 other draws in our deck, and we would have won this game. We are one turn too late. Because now he pops block, right? And then we Alexstrasza, we lose. If we play another ice block, we can't play Alexstrasza in the same turn. We lose, because then he just kills us the following turn when we Alexstrasza. <laughs> so the only way to win is if we somehow draw two cards, and one's a freeze, and one's an ice block. Because the ice block has to be set up before the Alexstrasza comes down, so he doesn't kill us in the same turn. 
We still have two draws though, so theoretically, you know, we can get there. There's a Roaring Torch. He's gonna give us three draws. There's another Roaring Torch. And then there's the Pop. Theoretically, if we draw a freeze, I don't know what's left in the deck. I wasn't keeping track of our freezes. There's the other ice block. I mean, we could ice block an emperor. Maybe this is enough. Maybe this is enough. Let's calculate. So this is 12, 6, 18, 22, 26, 27 with hero power. He's at 29. <sighs> so this is six. Oh, I swear if this is enough, that's like the craziest thing ever. Hello. <laughs> Calculated. On that note, thank you for stopping by for another video here at Warshack Plays. I've been your host, Warshack, and happy whatever the hell day it is.